Good, how are you doing? My pleasure meeting you, Ruth. Tell us about the film and why did you pick this particular role to play in this film, Loving? Well, I, I, I don't know if, 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 I, if I picked it. I think Jeff picked me. Um, I, I I'd, um, was familiar with this story, but barely. Um, and a casting director called Francie Mazur put my name forward to Jeff Nichols and Sarah Green, the producer. And Jeff very kindly sent me some sides. And I prepared them and I met with him. And um, I'd watched Nancy Bersky's HBO documentary and I fell in love with this couple. And um, I was so moved and inspired by um, their struggle to, to bring their case to the Supreme Court, just, you know, to, 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 to be a married couple for, um, and, and pave the way for, for thousands of people to get married. Um, and it was just, their story was so um, unique um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of what I'd seen. But I knew it wasn't unique in, in terms of, of stories of that kind. So I was just interested because I thought that they were sort of um, flying the flag for, you know, the unknown soldiers of the civil rights struggle. Yeah, because we were talking about that where you and your husband, I mean, in the film, you have the very, very quiet strength, especially you do. Yes, well, I think that, um, you know, they didn't set out to be activists. They were quite, they, they just wanted to be married, live married in their home, home county, in their home state, and raise a family. And um, I think that, that, that eventually this became something that became something that, that took over their lives, in, a, in effect, because Mildred essentially wanted to go home, and I think that's as much a, a theme in this film as anything, the idea of home and where people want to be and where they belong and um, and for that simple simple desire you could be it, it was deemed criminal um, and I think what's so lovely is that 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 these this couple this unassuming quiet reserved quite shy couple took on the might of the American legal system and I think if I think that's quite incredible um, um, but, you know, in their own way, I think shyness is often confused with sort of uh, meekness. And I don't think that's co entirely, entirely true. I think, a, uh, I think that Mildred had a, a, a steel thread of confidence um, behind that sort of veneer of shyness, which wasn't a veneer, she, you know. But I think, I think that she shares that with a lot of black women at that time. You know, they, they very this kind of strong, dignified presence for their communities. Now, Ruth, you're not afraid to step out and do other roles. I mean, we've, I first took notes of an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., oh, nice. the woman in the flower dress. Yeah. Right, now, right now, Preacher, and now this film. And I'm hoping your fans of those go to see you here because it is like totally opposite from what you do. Well, very much so. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's such a privilege to be able to sort of um, play those, those different aspects of... Um, myself, um, but of humanity, really. Um, yeah, it's such a privilege. I mean, I, th I don't. It's not. I don't actively. Well, maybe I do actually seek out. I seek out roles that sort of are, co are maybe con contrast and that are women who are complex and sort of um, not very straightforward um, as we all are in real life. Um, so yeah, I do. I hope. Yeah, I hope they do come and see this film because it is a beautiful film, and you will be rewarded with such a such a beautiful experience and you know in coming to know this couple who I know that people will feel so keenly about and feel such an admiration and respect and um, grateful to them f for evolving for evolving this the conversation yeah, and one of the things it's like it takes all of us to move forward it wasn't just one people one it was like all of us to move forward exactly exactly I mean we're, you know, we're all in it together, essentially. And this film just shows, you know, that if, if, if we reach out, if we, um, instead, of instead of withdrawing and diminishing, if we expand and reach out, then amazing things can happen, you know. I mean, the slogan says it best, you know, stronger together. The other thing, um, Jeff said it was one audition, he auditioned you, and he, that's it, no more auditions, no one else. I don't know if that's entirely true, but it's <laughs> apocryphal. Um, I definitely I was the first person in to to audition, but um, 
I don't know. I just felt like I felt I felt such a connection to Mildred, um, and I don't think I'm the only one. But I just felt she was such a soulful, uh, open, loving woman. And I just thought, what a pleasure it would be, to, what a privilege to play her and connect with her and connect with people through her. Um, so you know, even even just I thought, even if I just do this audition I've I've come to know this woman and I've come to know her story and Richard's story and that uh, that's that's a bonus <laughs> the next question is this something you're taught a lot of actors can act the whole body you act we focus on your face and your eyes your eyes say so much well I have been told they're unusually large I don't know if that's a compliment or not <laughs> um, I think I think that I think you know you learn as a performer to use as m uh, use as use your entire skill set, and that includes your physicality and your the entirety of your physicality. But I think there is a certain. What's interesting is I think that if we're brave enough, we don't need to overwork something. You know, I think the, f the great the the joy of of performing I think is is trusting the inner work. Trusting that will sort of permeate into the outside, you know. It's scary, but... Okay, they're giving me the hook. Okay. Okay, that's one of this. Thank you so much. Thank you.